A while ago, I did a 2D game engine from scratch and I called it Dynami. It was released for you to test it out and you guys seem to love it because since then I keep receiving messages about the future of the game engine updates and how to use it and so on. And I understand why. The goal of this engine was to be very, very, very easy for you to open it and get started making 2D games, meaning that if you wanted to make a simple game or an intermediate or even advanced game, you will be able to do it with no time loss in the engine itself. And I wanted to expand this. I wanted to make it even more simpler, if that's even possible, and add Python scripting, make the executable size way smaller, and most importantly, allow you to export your game to multiple platforms. Oh, and also I wanted to allow you to create your own sprites and everything else inside the engine with the minimum amount of boiler, boilerplate code necessary to do it so. So this is why I decided to completely rewrite Dynami from scratch. And I wanted to do it even better this time. So I'm not only rewriting the engine itself, but I will also separate completely the core engine with the editor itself. What does it mean, you may ask? Well, it means that if you want to make 2D games with C++ without an editor, in other words, if you want to, to make games and only have like a cool library to draw the graphics, do the audio settings and the handling and the physics and math and everything else, you would be able to use Dynami now because of this. It's separated as a library and the editor is built on top of this library for you that prefers some specific code. I've been working on this project for a while now and I'm really excited to share to you guys because this project is different from the others because I'm not only here writing the engine and I will release it for you, but I will also make the source code available on my Patreon and I'm documenting every single step of the development process and I will release it here in form of a devlog, informative, step-by-step -step sort of videos on YouTube. Meaning that if you have interest into learning how to make a game engine, this will really help you, especially if you subscribe to the Patreon and get access to the source code because that will definitely help you. Huge thanks to all the supporters of this channel, not only the patrons, I'm talking to you that is watching this video because you are awesome. Recently, I made a poll here regarding the profile picture of this channel and it had a lot of great suggestions and I decided to completely change, or not completely, but change a little bit the visual identity of this channel with a new thumbnail, profile picture and so on. So here is the new logo. One of the reasons why I decided to do this is because a while ago I introduced this idea of the game engine making course and a lot of you guys subscribed to get access to the course once it get released, uh, to the waiting list of course, but it turns out that making a course on how to make a game engine is very hard because I not, not only need to create the engine first, but I also need to recreate this entire engine a second time but explaining every single step by step. And that's not exactly how a game engine development process works. It, it is a lot more complicated than that. And then I evolved this idea, and then if you are on my Discord server, you know, to a game engine making book, where I will explain in text how to make a game engine. But even that was very hard, and I decided to, well, you know what, I will rewrite Dynami, but I will also document every single step of the process, so everyone will be able to understand how it is going. It's not a tutorial, I'm not gonna go, hey, this is how to write stuff, but it's more like, hey, this is the mindset, He's, this is what I do first, and this is what I do next, and I believe that this will be very interesting. And after that, once the engine is finished, of course, I will be able to evolve this and make a course or a book if you guys are still interested in it. Plus, I will be able to release a bunch of cool videos for free here on YouTube, which is great, with the option to support this channel and the development of this over the Patreon with the benefit of receiving the source code of the engine. And regarding the source code, uh, I want to do some quick explanation because as I said before, I want this engine to be an editor like previous Dynami was, but also a library for you to make games in C++ without the editor. This library will be available to the patrons only because this way I can share the source code, but also a bunch of cool sample code for you to get started. So at the moment, while I haven't shown you guys anything yet on YouTube because I was recording a bunch of videos before just to make sure that this series will really move forward because I would hate to start another series and completely give up in the middle, this will be very bad. So at the moment, the engine is split into the engine itself where the core sits 
meaning that every basics, every fundamentals, every implementation that is actually relevant to you is in there. And then I do have the core tests where I unit test basically everything in the engine. And this is also a great opportunity to mention that I'm trying to avoid using third party libraries as much as I can. So I wrote the, my own OS layer for this, meaning I'm, I'm actually communicating directly with the operational system, such as Windows and in the future Linux and I'm scripting and so on. And I also wrote my own math layers. That's why I started the unit testing in the first place because math requires a lot of testing to make sure that everything is correct. And I also wrote my own physics layer and my own sound layer. Actually, I use mini audio, but yeah. Um, and I'm trying to follow this rule for basically everything else. I'm using very minimal libraries and most of them are header only or very simple to embed. So this is a design decision that I made because I wanted the executable file of this engine to be very tiny and with no external dependencies or files and a bunch of stuff. I want this to be, if possible, I want this executable to be like 500 kilobytes, not joking. This is the idea. So meaning that you have a lot of power in your hands, but if a very tiny uh, executable with very little boilerplate code. And then I do have the engine editor, which at the moment has nothing because I'm focusing on the library itself. And I do have the samples with a bunch of code that will teach you how to make the, how to make games using this engine. And I've invested a lot of time in these samples, even though I only have like a flappy bird, um, I actually tried to explain with a bunch of comments and so on, so you can understand all the features that the engine already have. So it's great. And this version that I'm talking about is actually on my Patreon at this exact moment. Um, and I will be showcasing the step-by-step -step development process starting for next week. So in the next video of this channel, you we'll, we will probably see me creating a project and so on and advancing and moving on. So it will be hopefully very interesting for you to follow along and hopefully you will learn a lot about it. So that's it for this video. This was like a short announcement video. I hope it's short. I don't think so. <laughs> but anyways, uh, if you are interested in this series, subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. So let's see how it goes and check the Patreon if you want to support this and get access to the source code. I believe that you will enjoy a lot checking it out. At the moment, it only works for Windows, so that's it. But I'm writing a make file for Linux and I'm scripting. So should be available at some point. I'm not sure when because I'm actually focusing in finishing the core part of the engine, which is more important. So that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.